Wrexham are now in League One the third tier of the English Football League. The ambition of Wrexham owners Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney are clear. They want to get into the Premier League as quickly as possible. But as most football fans know, it is not as easy as it sounds just to jump into the Premier League. So let's explore the question, how long will it realistically take for Wrexham to be promoted two more times and finally reach the Premier League for the first time in its 159 year history? To answer this, we'll look at the current state of League One and the championship, as well as examine other clubs who quickly rose through the English football leagues. This will give us some context for what Wrexham are trying to accomplish. If you want to become a Hollywood star and own a football club, I would suggest joining the stable of 525 bucks and subscribing to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Wrexham AFC's meteoric rise in popularity among neutral fans worldwide can be attributed to the celebrity connections and marketing prowess of its Hollywood owners. To fully appreciate this transformation, it is crucial to examine the club's journey since this pivotal change in ownership. In February 2021, Rob and Ryan bought the club as it was struggling in non-league football. If you've seen the documentary, you'll know the state of the club and the town before their arrival. If you frequent this channel, you know I am someone who loves an underdog story. So I find it hard not to root for a club that was never expected to produce results. However, to be intellectually honest, we need to acknowledge that Wrexham's recent rise was not entirely unpredictable. In the National League and League Two, they were really anything but underdogs. The turnaround was quick, but that's largely because Rob and Ryan pumped a significant amount of money into the club. Let's look at the numbers. In their promotion season from the National League, Wrexham's wage bill was around 2.3 to 2.5 million pounds, far higher than other clubs at that level according to The Athletic. The same pattern continued in League Two, where Wrexham reportedly spent £107,238 per week on wages, over £20,000 more than the second highest spenders, Gillingham. Now in League One, Wrexham's spending power remains impressive. According to Capology, they would have the sixth highest weekly wage bill of teams currently in the third tier. To put this in perspective, their wage bill exceeds that of former Premier League clubs like Reading, Wigan Athletic, and Blackpool. This isn't a criticism of Wrexham's approach. If you want to reach the Premier League, you need to spend money and lots of it. But it's important to provide context to their rapid rise rather than viewing it solely through the lens of the club's marketing team. They want you to think of them as the biggest underdogs ever. So how quickly can the club rise to the Premier League? Let's look at some historical examples. In the past, clubs like Swindon Town, Bolton, Wigan Athletic, Blackpool, and Swansea made it from League One to the Premier League in less than a decade. What these clubs did to get promoted was incredibly impressive, but five other clubs did it in less than five years. Fulham and Hull City made the jump in an impressive four years, and Luton and Bournemouth made the jump in five years. Most impressive out of all of them was Ipswich Town being promoted from League One and then the championship in successive years. I did a video on the history and recent successes of Luton, Ipswich, and Bournemouth if you want an in-depth look at how those clubs actually got promoted in the same way that Wrexham aims to. What do these success stories have in common? For clubs like Fulham and Hull, it was new ownership injecting money into the club similar to Wrexham's situation. Others, like Bournemouth, Luton, and Ipswich, relied on great managers, smart investments in the transfer and loan market, and continuity within the club. Mix these factors with luck and hard work, and you have a recipe for success. However, it's worth noting that Ryan and Rob, while wealthy, aren't in the same league as some of the other owners in English football. They're not the Fenway group or the City group. This means they need to fund Wrexham's rise in other ways, which is where their marketing prowess seems to come in. 
Wrexham is now arguably the most well-known non-football league club ever. It has the history, and now it has the backing of Hollywood to push it into global stardom. This marketing approach is crucial. It's really the only way for owners who aren't multi-billionaires to dream of rapid promotion to the Premier League in this day and age. I will mention the fact that while this is the only path forward for Wrexham, many football fans find the constant barrage of Wrexham's story and painting them to be an underdog as very annoying. I see how this could be bothersome, but I am sure many of the critics would have loved for this to be their club. They would have loved to have Ryan and Rob pick their club up and do this for them. I think it's important to also acknowledge that a lot of what we see about this club comes from the inside of a very smart marketing department. Looking ahead, I predict that Wrexham will end up getting promoted to the championship in the near future, possibly even next year. This would be an incredible achievement, making history by being promoted three seasons in a row. But the championship is a whole different ballgame. It takes about 150 million pounds for a club to be promoted from the championship to the Premier League. The level of competition is much higher, and you're up against clubs receiving substantial parachute payments after relegation from the Premier League. This financial reality makes it challenging for owners like Ryan and Rob, whose combined net worth is around $400 million, which is about half of what they need just to get to the Premier League. They'll need to rely heavily on their marketing strategies and the global attention Wrexham has garnered to compete at this level. While Wrexham's rise so far has been impressive, the road to the Premier League remains long and challenging. Some predict it could take 7 to 10 years before they break through. Whether they can emulate the success of clubs like Luton or Bournemouth, who made it without the richest owners, remains to be seen. It will require smart management, excellent recruitment, and probably a bit of luck. Regardless of the timeline, one thing is certain. Wrexham's journey is a captivating story that has captured the imagination of football fans worldwide. As they continue their quest for Premier League football, they'll undoubtedly remain one of the most intriguing clubs to watch in English football.